Right. Nah, single Puyo pop, not Puyo Puyo. <laughs> yeah. Now that was in That's another thing, it's... If you notice in the Japanese version, they say, let's have a Poyo match. Yeah. And this one, they go, let's have a Poyo pop, and it's like... It sounds more like you're you know, you're offering someone a drink then. <laughs> a drink made it of Poyos. I'd love, I'd love that just to see, like, in, say, like, in the game, the next Sega game that they make, like, as a reference to Poyo Poyo, just then one of the vending means, like, if it's a vending, like, you can see vending machines, like, it's <laughs> vending machine. <laughs> Poyo Pop, Poyo Pop Soda, just somewhere else. <laughs> Funny thing is, the, the background for, um, for the cuts in the Dunyan Pixie, or Onion, um, is actually yeah. close to the, the forest in, um, in all the other versions, but in the console versions, it was changed to the outside, um, Pimp school, and then magic school. Yeah. Aye, right, because the ones I've played, he's at, he was actually at the forest. Yeah. So this is, this is the first time I've seen him at magic school. I've noticed that it's in the... I'm not sure about the GameCube version, but in, in the PS2 version it's like He's that. in the forest. Ah. And then it magically changes to the forest stem in the next scene. Yeah. That's when it makes it look like he's just come out of one of the trees or the bushes, you know, he's yeah. seen her, he's like, ooh, wonder who that is, I'll go say hello. <laughs> well, I mean, Pixie is a curious creature. Yeah. Now, which voice actor do you, think, do you prefer for Onion? For onion? Uh, Onion Pixie, I like his English. Storm of the Dying. So much, so much more than stuff in this game. Here's our first Onion! Onion! Storm of the Dying. That's all I remember, it's the Storm of the Dying. Yeah. There's some characters aren't too bad in both versions. Yeah. I think I think Luke was one of them. He's not too bad in both. No. But but you got some of them. It's like the why did they change it? Yeah. Or I'm glad they changed it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Luke. To me, sounds too much like a girl. Definitely. I mean, one, one, one of them, one of them, um, kind of makes sense, since, um, I'll go into that once he shows up, which will be the next match. Yeah. Wouldn't that happen to be the Umi no Oji, or is he two matches away? Then he's next match after the clue. Right. And yeah, and I did check that with the Japanese text, it is yeah. still Prince of Ocean. <laughs> Ah, uh, the German nerve. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, it's just I'm so used to the Game Boy Advance version. <laughs> I know it's in the Game Boy Advance version, um, when, when I think when Fina um, talks to, um, in the in one of the cutscenes later, she says she says in this version she says a different um, word instead of what the the um, the text says, but in the yeah. In the Game Boy Advance version, she says something completely different. Oh yeah, she does. Um, it's a chord. She did that in a couple of things. I think she did that in the Japanese version. Yeah. It's like it had some text come up on... But this was her English one. Yeah. Right? You had her standard English text she has regardless of version. And then you read the subtitles and it's like two or three words are different. Yeah. Like they didn't translate the text properly. You know, yeah. thankfully it wasn't typos, it's just they didn't translate it properly. What do you think of the 3D effect that they gave for this? Eh, uh, it's alright. I mean, I like, I like, um, the part of this game that gets a bit nauseous when, when he sees it. So I'm kind of glad he's not watching this, because he's watching the first part of the heart. 
Yeah. I tried it with the 3D version on the GameCube and I was like, ah, oh, this is alright, it's fine. But I'm so used to having 2D going on, so. Yeah. And the 3 one thing I don't like about the 3D though is when you got multiple chains and you're trying to look to see where you can get another match for setting up the next one or whatever, or adding to it, you know, when possible. Like, especially if it's a chain you've got of an all clear started up. Because the screen's tilting so much, you kind of lose track of where things are. Yeah. So, that's why in the end I just switched back to playing in the 2D format. I only showed it off, I only, I only did it so I could show off then what it looks like, and you know, if the players who don't know that option's there, you know, they yeah. keep it off. I hate how some I don't mind it. I hate how some of these teams just to give you one le one left last coil that you you can't get rid of. Yeah. Not worth the trouble. Oh good Klug saying he's running out. Woohoo. You there. And I'm assuming you can send that right back out. Come here, you peasant. Uh the one, the one who should sound like a girl, because that's the joke in, in the Japanese version, it yeah. sounds more like a girl than a boy. So they got this, yeah. this one accurate, this voice actor accurate, which is good. Now I'm like finishing with fever mode. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll just love, love to give them a huge chain as they fall <laughs> as the screen falls. Just think, if you yeah. give up again, you're going to get some more. Yeah, I think the biggest, actually I think I wrote it down once what it was and I can't remember about, about paper, but the biggest chain I had was like with that 15 thing, I had three crowns on the top of the screen plus who knows what else, there was like yeah. stars and moons and there was still other garbage waiting in the lines because the, although it said Miss Accord lost and her screen went, you know, my chains and that, they're still going and going and going. So I don't know how much I ended up with there, but it was, I think, more than enough to beat maybe two opponents in a row. <laughs> I, think, I think that's unfair in, in, the, in the battle um, for the 50th anniversary because it, it doesn't let you carry it on, it just... It just it ah, I noticed off. that! You know, you, you can have a chain going, a really good one, you're building up all this thingy, you've defeated one opponent and it delays the arrival of the next opponent. And when they show up, no matter how much garbage you've got, especially if it's a good amount, it just gets erased because it's a new opponent as far as the game's concerned. Probably so it feels like a total waste. It's probably easier to quote that way. Yeah. Ocean Prince is another one of those, um... Yeah, no ho ho. Yeah. No ho ho mark three here. <laughs> yeah. Um I was gonna say it's um so with um with with um Ocean Quince and he's 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 one of the other ones that's um fairly accurate is um battle cries um, to the Japanese yeah. version. I can I can note two two which which um which aren't I'm not gonna see the other one until I um, get to it. Yeah. I love his animations that come up, his little pictures. <laughs> yeah, well, he's dead. But they, they are funny. Yeah. <laughs> and there he goes. <laughs> and he looks like a fried fish at that point. As I said, Shimmy is dead. Taro Taro, the fast rapist. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> oh my god. Well, it's just the comments he makes and she's trying to get away from yeah. him, you know. It makes people think he's gonna rape her. <laughs> it, it was kind of, kind of, um, okay. I know you don't want to let him want her to go because obviously he's, yeah. he's got some affection for her, but really if you, if you do that, it's gonna make you look like some, somebody very, very <laughs> 
Yeah, if people are gonna think you're a school bully or something. <laughs> or... I'll be back in a second. I've just been whistled by my mother. <laughs> Prepping my tea. <laughs> she wanted me to check on a couple of things. Ah. Well, Tarotar wasn't getting over that. We've got to start at one point, which is rare for me. Yeah. It's in that. It's, I, what we with him? I, I better get going when she says I got her. Yeah. Uh, here's, here's, here's you. The one who says not, who's not translated well. We don't get ready. We should come on and do it. to come on. You hear a silence. No, what is it? Or is it, um, yeah. who you gonna call? Which is obviously a reference to Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters, yeah. Pay attention to my elegant dance steps! I like you. I like you, which means you're very good to me, Ghost. Yeah. Just hope they never take out the AND and take the E off a ray. Yeah. <laughs> if you get what I mean. Yeah. I wonder how many people actually try to do that. Now, there's, probably, to make people, there's the probably people on the queue coming in and doing why they try to do that. Yeah. Was it, did you know if you do such and such and such and such, it sounds like... It's like, oh, no, blum and duh. I, I, I do like that pun, it means you... It means together means you're able to boost. Yeah. What I do is, like, is um, it's basically like a little backstory to how, how, how um, all the player characters got, got to where they are right now. Yeah. Like, um, like why we, why Riders always always got our hands, hands in his, in his big long sleeves. Yeah. And um, what, what happened to you and Ray before, you, you know what I mean, go through that. Yeah. And it's, it's like, um, it's hints that we can develop how, um, I made it that they were part of um, the magic school, and I don't know if they were or not. Yeah. Um, so it became, because how they described Ray as, as being the one who always talked when she was alive. So um, I'm going to have it as Mr. Cord ask, ask Ray what happened, and obviously you're going to speak up. Yeah. Because if I'm not mistaken, the only way Ray actually communicates is he keeps holding up boards like his sister would ask a question and he'd yeah. do the Japanese joke of the hold up the yes or the no board you know yeah. you're correct you're wrong and they have the typical circles for yes and x's for no and <laughs> yeah. um, I, know, I know this you know that um, the way does, does, um, does communicate with them um, just saying just saying the same thing as as you did and um, like um, yeah in the 20th anniversary, and um, she'd come on, oh, it's done this, and then we would come up, oh, done this. Yeah. Uh, the only, th that's one thing I noticed, is the only time he spoke was actually during the actual Poyo matches. Yeah. 
I don't, I don't remember him speaking at all in any cutscenes or anything. You took, you took over the Mr. Come on. Yeah. This is one thing about Ho Halberd I think is an absolute hilarity. It doesn't matter what version you're watching. He goes on about dodging peck attacks, and you can clearly see he is trying to smack her with his foot. Yeah. Because he dives downwards, talons first, and he's going about peck attacks. And instead of saying, um, take your, take your place in the pecking order, he says, take your place in the pecking. Yeah. I wonder if he's the blind guy of the series. I think, I think he probably is because, um, if you notice in his losing animation, he loses his glasses. Yeah. I think he's, the, yeah, I think he's the partially sighted one. So that, that's, and he's... Why, that's why he missed, um, that's why he missed, um, Rafina. Yeah. It finally also, all makes sense. And why she makes the, you know, she makes the comment of the, hey, which way are you looking? I bet you don't know which way to cross the road, you know? Yeah. Oh, we didn't get to use. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think, if I remember rightly, one of the reasons he never got brought back again is there were so many players hated and doing it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. That's actually... That was actually a contributor as to why yeah. he never came back. So I know he came back with Weaver 2 and then and I'm making yeah. the joke of saying that she's a magical girl. <laughs> <laughs> and then he then, then, then does the usual thing by trying to shoot her and said it's a fire. Yeah. Uh, that was like well, one of the few jokes in that game that I actually got. <laughs> I wonder the fact that she doesn't have full poi with her and the magic that she's got the magic cane. Hmm. Yeah. Right, because there was the. Uh, I think it was one of. I think it was before the Carbuncle match, or it might have been before this. I wasn't reading the text fully, but you got the bit where she turns around and says to Rafina, don't be such a brat, or I think something. I think that's the full poi one. Uh, yeah, well, in the Japanese GBA, it's don't be such a blat. They got an L instead of an R. <laughs> so, it's the, so it's the Crash Man, Crash Man thing all over again. Crash Man, yeah. Crash Man. Yeah. Yeah, and I was, and I was like, the, yay, because they did everything else right. It's like, yes, they got all that translated well, they got that translated well. They remembered it's the English screen title, so clicks fine. Yeah. And you get all the way to the end, and it's one tiny sentence from Miss Accord was incorrect. Accord one word sense. from one little sentence. Accord sense. Accord sense. Yeah. I had a lot more trouble in her in the Game, Game Boy Advance version, which actually used the used um, the theme for both again, the, um, showing you showing you how to pull your pot. Yes. I did like that. Um, I just just um, remembered it. But um, with um, with you when she when I, um, when she's getting coil dropped and says she gets the spirit the spirits be gone gone slip on her. Yeah. And creepy cat makes an entrance again. That's a creepy. I think it's not. He just looks so derpy. And no, he's not the Prince of Darkness. The Prince of Darkness is Satan, who's in love with Darty. I'm beginning to wonder. Um, I mentioned in the RT version that um, that translation of the of the first game that I got um, that was supposed to be more towards it, and they keep mentioning yeah. Puyo Puyo Jin Jinkuro, which means hell. I can't, I can't remember Jinkuro or whatever it was. It means hell. And I have noticed yeah. a lot of them. It's like um, especially in 50th anniversary, Satan on Satan are one of the Madu characters will mention Puyo Puyo Jengoku, which means hell, so, so yeah. that translation may be more accurate than we actually think. Yeah. Got a lot of poison. Uh, one thing I thought was classic, in 15th anniversary, I saw a small playthrough one. I didn't yeah. know if it was, it was either part of Klug's story or part of Satan's story, but they had a match with each other. 
Yeah. And uh, and Satan comes across Klug, and Klug's like, "Who are you?" And he's like, "I'm Satan Samar," you know, and he's all that sort of stuff. And yeah, and like Klug's like, "No, you're not. You don't exist. You know, you're just some sort of cosplay." Cosplay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's coming up with all this stuff that he's not a Satan. And Satan's trying to do that. I am Satan. Trust. <laughs> I should no. I. You, you wouldn't believe how many times I've I've had to. If I've had I've had to dress up in Hawaiian shirts. Yeah. Get possessed by people. Get possessed by the double gun, double gun of my, of the one that I want. Yeah, I'll just be a second again. Sorry about that. Right. God. What the next Pluto game is to bring back Pluto Boy? Like an actual character, not just part of, part of the court. Like they did with Carbon yeah. and, and Seven Non Wars. Yeah, because I always see him with a cord and I'm like, the, why can't he fight in his own? He did it perfectly fine before, he's a difficult opponent. You know? He can do his. Do some like um, echo, echo or dirty, echo. Uh, how how do you pronounce his name? Echo. Echo. I was like, I was like, I was like, I think that's great that where Amity turns around and does the. The, the teacher said you found the thingy. It's as if to say nan and in it. I found it, but I'm just going to give you the credit just to make it look good. <laughs> oh, did you find like did you find it? Oh, funny things I found it first. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Cause I was trying to work out how they did that, but with the storyline, you know the. Yeah. So I've always imagined it's sort of, you know, Amity did find the, like sort of wand itself, her, you know, wand herself, but saying that. You know, her and the teacher came up with some sort of excuse saying that Rafina found it and Kate, you know, because the teacher maybe turn around and go, Rafina's not feeling well, she's not too sure what's going on, just tell her that, you know. I think, I think what, what it is is that, um, is that Rafina found it first, um, when she got knocked out by it, um, the teacher was able to get her, get her out of the building before Amity got in. You know, so yeah, and then it Amity, ah, it was left behind and Amity picked it up. And that's that. Uh, that's why she was there so fast, is because she just got got Rafina's Rafina's yeah. corpse out. <laughs> well, that could explain the why. After Amity picks it up, she's startled to find Mister Cord behind her. You know, as if Mister Cord's like, "Wait a minute, I don't know my wand." Walks in, sees Amity with it, and then she makes it all sound like, "Oh, well done, you found it." <laughs> Um, like we've seen about that, that comic that I was doing, and it's like how it, how 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 it is is that um, all the main characters have got strong attacks, like um, like Seg, yeah. Ryder, um, Clue, and like you know, the, with the book. Um, how I'm going to have it is that because he's a demon that was inside the book, you know, that he takes over Clue um, in the mm -hmm. second game. That was the reason why they've got so powerful, powerful magic, and that, um, because Athena has weak magic compared to all them, and that's why she needs that. 
Or pouncing that, you know, that she has. Yeah. It's like a sort of little, it's like a boost or something. Yeah. What's in the bag, Ryder? Just my insurance. <laughs> Move along. <laughs> <laughs> I do like that little bit that, um, the, in this game, they even hinted to that demon being in there because if Chloe wins against you, it, the demon comes out of the book. Yeah. So it was like they were going to have that in this game, but obviously didn't have enough time to do it, and that's why they put it in Fever 2. Yeah. I love how that little demon's still animated and reacts to everything. Yeah. 